I'm over here in East Phoenix. Get to Phoenix in a minute because I want to cover. But uh, that's a piece of thermostat wire. I, I, I've got a couple rolls in my pickup, just can't find them. I got so much crap on my pickup. Sometimes I gotta get semi organized. I gotta cut a bunch of crap out of it. You park in front of a. Well, I empty, take all the good stuff out and empty the trash. And I can probably find stuff in there. But just look at that other roof. I've been up there. Um, that's a scary part of the roof. This, this is probably about 10 feet off the ground. This, this roof don't scare me. The higher roofs, that's about the point where my fair heights kicks in, but uh, see my tools there. But uh, just a piece of just a here in, here in Arizona, the sunlight, the ultraviolet sunlight really tears the hell out of plastic. These wire, the little thermostat wires, and that's a real common problem to have the insulation wear off on those things, and then they don't work right. Of course, it's real easy to just put a piece of wire on there. It's one of the things that are more a hassle than a serious problem, but uh, let me get, let me get this. This is uh, East Phoenix lady walking there, probably walking the bus or something. That captain sent up a drug garb there, but uh, we get to, there's a, I used to be in Mar Maricopa County Hospital. I'm just east of there. It's uh, a brother or something. Uh, a brother is like a Spanish word for hugs or something. They've got a, they've written out a bunch of those with Spanish names like that. Bunch of hospitals. The ones I was born in, I was born in what was Good Samaritan, but it's a browser or something else. Now it's uh, it's actually a little bit west of here. It's uh, like um, like McDowell and about 11th Street or something like that. But I was born in Good Samaritan Hospital. I've got a couple of videos from a year, a couple of years ago, on the, you know, from right in front of uh, a hospital. Uh, sometime I'll get back over there. But let me give you let me give you a 360 here without talking. Not quite 360, but close enough. That's one of the mountains that people like to climb. I don't know the name of it. I'll have to look it up. But you know, all of these, uh, well, there they're more hills and mountains, but there are a bunch of, bunch of city, city and state parks that are in here that people like to climb. There's the buses. People ride buses in other parts of the world, but uh, the Southwest is just not a place for public transportation. Just doesn't, uh, it provides some of its function, but most about 80 percent of people prefer to drive themselves there's trains and buses and i don't know but anyway that's what's up here i'd probably go to the place that's got discount uh, electronics it's a little bit west of here they should be open by the time i breeze by there because by the time i fight traffic by the time i get over there they'll probably be open still gonna pull my ladder down use my long ladder there but i, don't, I can get up there with my shorter ladder but uh the feet aren't very good, so I just use my long ladder because the feet are better. By putting gravel, it tends to slide backwards without good feet. Is the ones that is the ones that scare me. That scare me having to get up that high. I have nightmares about falling off a of roof like that. I really do. Not every night, but I have had. Well, what I do, I'll, I'll get in my dream. I'll be in the ladder. It'll start to slip, and I'll jerk awake. But there's a I'll give my theory on that jerk awake. Now there's a theory that uh, you'll, uh, you're going to go to deep sleep, we all got to go out of body, it's called after projection. And that jerk awake feeling, it's when your soul is re-entering your body. Not everybody accepts that and that's fair enough, but uh, that's a common belief. I need to let you go here. I need to get more stuff done. Bye bye.